See you in one take four. Marker. What's up guys, Slidek Dan here. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize. I'm sorry. I know it's been a little while since my last video. It's been a crazy busy life. I've been doing some photography, cinematography, building stuff, and riding one wheels. Um, so yeah, it's, I've been trying to squeeze time to p make this video together, but um, fear not, I have not forgotten you. And actually, I'm planning to do more of a vlog style in the future, so that way I can get more consistent uploads out for you guys. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for that. But today, I want to just continue where I left off last time. Um, and yes, I have been continually riding my one wheel. I'm on my first 100 miles, which is, it's been great. Like, I've been loving riding this thing. And because I've been <laughs> loving to ride this thing, I've been trying to ride further and further, you know, to my workplace, my friend's house, to a restaurant, what have you. And uh, the problem is the range on this thing kind of caps out. So, for example, if I want to go to work, it's about eight to nine miles away, right? And my one wheel gets seven miles on a good day. So, a bit of a range issue here. The one wheel XR can outdo that plenty of times. Like, it can go 18 miles. Uh, but the problem is the one wheel XR is. $1,800 and I already paid a good chunk to buy my one wheel plus so instead of paying another $1,800 there is a solution for under a hundred dollars it's called charge and ride uh, which I actually did not build a charge and ride system it's more like a sit and ride but I can still use it as a charge and ride um, it, it'll make more sense when I show you actually so let, yeah let me just shut up and, and show you the clip yeah all right so the charge and ride system Actually, before we move on, I do want to throw out a quick disclaimer here. The charge and ride system does have a risk of damaging your one wheel, like forever. So if you do decide to do a charge and ride system, do it at your own risk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Put on your discretion mode and uh, figure out if it's worth it for you. The system will work for the original One Wheel, One Wheel Plus, and the early models of the One Wheel XR. Unfortunately, the newer versions of the One Wheel XRs, you cannot do a charge and ride system. Uh, you can still do a sit and ride with the extra battery pack though. To find out, go on your One Wheel app and if it says hardware version 4208, your One Wheel XR cannot do a charge and ride. Sorry. But with that said, uh, I could keep going and explaining how I put my uh, setup together, but I tend to have this rambling tendency, so I'll let my friend here, Art, explain it to you instead. All right, Art, take it away. Thanks, Daniel. So to build this system, you'll need a few key components and basic knowledge of electronics, as it'll require some soldering. A battery, battery charger, solar charging system, or MPPT, XLR female connector, and the XT60 connectors, both male and female. Say, XT60, does that sound like the Terminator? Now Daniel, you aren't building a Skynet here, are you? And now the battery charger build. In this case, Daniel purchased the hoverboard charger from eBay. Now cut one end of the charger cable. No, no, not that side. The side where it goes into the hoverboard. And then solder in the XT60 male connector. Main charging cable. First, make sure the cable is long enough. You know, like you could jump rope with it. Dude, I can, I can jump rope with this. Yeah. Cut both ends and strip the wires. Solder in the female XT60 connector on one side and solder in the XLR female connector on the other. When soldering the XLR connector, solder only two pins. In fact, here's what it's going to look like. To enable the charge and ride, the third pin is only there to tell the one wheel that it's charging. Once the one wheel charges with the third pin connected, it will shut off the board. Another solar charger. Both connections put in male XT60 connectors and secure with hot glue. Oh, and be careful, that glue is hot. Daniel earlier mentioned that this setup can technically be used as a charge and ride. Which I actually did not build a charge and ride system. It's more like a sit and ride, but I can still use it as a charge and ride. But this setup that Daniel has is actually best used as a sit and ride for safety reasons. Let me explain. The straight XLR cable you see here can cause damage to the one wheel if the person riding has to bail out. It's best to use a right angle or 90 degree XLR cable for a charge and ride system so that the one wheel can safely roll over in case of a wipeout. It's also best for a charge and ride system to include an on off switch and a quick disconnect. The on off switch will allow the rider to shut off the charging in case there's an overcharge situation which will shut off the one wheel mid ride. The quick disconnect will disconnect the cable in case of a wipeout so the rider isn't tethered to a one wheel as they bail out. 
This will prevent any damage to the charging port and the controller board of the one wheel. So that's it for the build. All you need to do for using this setup is making sure your MPPT or solar charger is set to 58 volts and between 3 to 5 amps for charging. Once that is set and your one wheel is plugging in, hit OK on the solar charger and it should start charging your one wheel. Alright Daniel, back to you. All right, well thanks Art. Um, so here's the setup. Here is the, uh, the one wheel with the charge and ride. And uh, let me tell you guys, it is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, definitely the best thing about the charge and ride is not only do you get extra range, you get extra torque and power as well. You really feel that when you're riding and it uh, kind of backs you up. So um, yeah, for sure. It definitely, I think, relieves stress on my foot and my legs as well when you have that extra power. So in the future, I am planning to add on that ride angle uh, XLR cable and uh, the on off switch and everything that makes the charge and ride system safe to use. And so that adds about $15 onto the budget and uh, if you guys are going to go for the charge and ride, I definitely recommend doing that. Um, it's a must, really. And before I leave guys, I definitely want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Art Gallius. Thank you so much for helping out with this video. If you guys want to check out his stuff, uh, I'll leave his information in the description down below. Um, so definitely go check that out. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, like I mentioned before, more vlog style type videos like this, it's coming up. And so watch out for those. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you're really feeling generous today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification too while you're at it. And you won't miss my next video. Before I leave, I do want to throw out a question for you guys. Um, if you had a one wheel that had infinite range, um, you can go anywhere you want with it. What would you do with it? Where would you go? So leave it down in the comments below and uh, catch you guys there. Slider Dan, signing out. Peace.